Well, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's good to see you again. It's been it's a couple of weeks too. since we were together. It's good to see you. You know, since we talked last time, I've done a little bit of research in regards to your timeshare. And one of the things that I found out, uh, one of the questions that you had was, uh, does it make sense for you guys to continue to own your timeshare? And you were going to talk amongst yourselves to make sure you don't want to own it anymore. Is that something you guys have decided? Yes. You're both in agreement you don't want to own it, and the kids don't want it? They do. They do. Kids they do. Want it. But you guys are going to make the decision to sell it anyway? Yes. Have you guys tried selling your timeshare at this point? Yes, yes. but no one wants it. Nobody wants your timeshare. Well, people want it, but by the time I'm in about two weeks when they're sure they want to buy, I ate. they don't have enough money. They don't have the money, huh? And we found one person that wanted it, but then a couple of days later, they didn't have enough money. Well, you know what I found out? I found out that this is something that you guys paid $13,000 for your timeshare back in 2000. And, and since you've owned it, every year the maintenance fees have gotten a little bit more expensive. And you know they're up to $500 this year? Yes, yes we kind of know. Yeah, I know you do. And that's one of the things we talk about was reducing expenses. But I found out that actually there is no resale market for timeshares today. Things have changed so much that uh, the market has uh, reversed on you since you bought it. And we use the term as financial advisor, sunk costs. It turns out that all of the money that you spent on your timeshare is gone. They don't have any resale value in the, in the uh, uh, market today for a number of reasons. But uh, the, the cost associated with your timeshare now... Um, is just too great. Did you know that that $500 maintenance fee that you have right now, if it keeps going up at the rate that it has since you bought it, that that's going to mean you spend another $20,000 owning this over the next 20 years if you don't sell it. And, and so I'm really glad to hear that you guys made the decision you don't want to own it anymore. But it's kind of sad to hear that you've been trying to sell it and nobody wants it. What do you think we can do about that? I'm just hoping we can find someone who will, sell, who will buy it. Yeah. Well, you've listed it on the computer. I know you told me that earlier, but you didn't get any results there. Well, I've done some research, and um, what this decision needs to be based on is you guys making a wise financial decision for your future here. The fact that it costs you more to continue to own it than it's worth having today means that uh, you should try to sell it. The problem is the resale market. I did find out though that there are some companies out there that you can work with that help you get out of your timeshare contracts. Have you have you done any research into finding any of those companies? No. Don't even know they exist. Well, what's most important is we save some money here and get out of those maintenance fees. And the way that we do that is uh, by getting out of the contract. I found out that the contract you have is a perpetual contract, meaning there's only one way out, and that's if somebody else gets in. So we've got to find somebody in a hurry that will be interested in your timeshare. And I think the best way to do that is to find a company that will help you get out of it. There's companies out there that provide that service. So that's what our homework is over the next couple of weeks, is to try to find any one of those companies that provide a service of helping you get out of your uh, timeshare contract. We're going to meet in a couple of weeks then, okay? Yeah, and okay. Uh, in the meantime, you guys do some research and maybe you can uh, come up with some answers there, all right? All right. Sound all right. like a good deal? Yes. Sounds good. Good. Let's go ahead and set an appointment and we'll meet in a couple of weeks and see where we go from here. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Take care. Bye. I just signed the contract <laughs> for next week. <laughs> well, hi, Mr. and Mrs. Smith. It's good to see you again. Good to see you, too. Good. It's been a couple of weeks since we met, and one of the things that we were going to do is do a little bit of research on your timeshare that you folks own. Sounds good. I understand that uh, you bought that back in 2000. Mm -hmm. yes. You paid uh, $13,000 for your timeshare. You've gotten some use out of it, but it, 
as we talked earlier, one of the things that we're trying to do is reduce some of your expenses. I know that Mrs. Smith lost her job and, and uh, things are getting tighter and tighter these days and the fact that you're not using your timeshare as much anymore. Then uh, one of the questions you guys were going to ask yourselves is, do you really want to get rid of it? Have you made that decision? Yes, but the kids yes, don't, so it's the going kids to be don't fun. because they really like the place with the pool, the beach, and each next to it, the tennis court, the basketball court. Okay, we're done. So, I know the kids are a question, but one of the things that I found out is that you don't even have to own a timeshare, and you can go and stay at them any time that you want. So owning it. Things have changed quite a bit since you bought it, and so the kids shouldn't be an issue if they want to travel because you can make that possible for them anytime you want just by going and traveling to them. It's hard to travel with them because there's a lot of people in the family, and the thing is, we only have a certain amount of money, so it depends how much it co how much it costs when we go on the vacation. Yeah, I know. Um, Actually, what we're doing here is uh, we're, we're looking at the cutting of some of your expenses. And so we've made the decision we're going to get out of this timeshare, all right? Yep. You Have you guys tried to sell it? Yes, but no one wants it. A few times we've had people who wanted it, but a few days later they didn't have the money, so... They just kind of changed their mind on you, huh? Yep. yep. Well, the I did some research. Going... And one of the things that I found out is, in, as financial advisors, we use the term sunk costs. It turns out the money that you paid for your timeshare back in 2000 has become valueless now in the resale market. There is no resale value on your timeshare any longer. For all of the changes that have taken place, like we just talked about, you don't even have to um, own them any longer to go to them. So. That's why we find so many of them for sale on the internet today. They're for sale for a dollar. We have to figure out how to get you guys out of this contract because that contract says you have to pay $500 a year in maintenance fees. And that's gone up since you bought it, right? Yes, but we don't have the money anymore. I know, it's pretty tight, isn't it? How much were your maintenance fees when you started? Around 300 is that what you said? Yes. No, it was about... 200 250 and now it's five hundred dollars a year and just keeps going up well i did some research and found out that uh, they've averaged about an eight percent increase a year and so if you project that out over the future here you still have tens of thousands of dollars that you would have to pay owning your timeshare if you continue to own it oh, and that's just not a wise financial decision anymore is it is it no. I want to hear you say that because I want to make sure you're both in agreement that you want to get rid of this timeshare because I think it's the wise financial decision for you. As your financial advisor, that's the advice that I would give you. So, you've tried to sell it. You haven't gotten any interest there. And I've done some research and found out that there's some companies out there that you can actually work with that will help you get out of your contract. Have you done any research in any of those companies? Oh, yeah, sometimes. Yeah, we've done a little bit of, of research into those companies, but we have, haven't done enough research to find out what they really do and how they can help us. All right, well then, I think that's our homework. One of the things that you're going to have to do is some research and finding some of those companies if they're out there, I, I have a client that actually used one. Maybe I can get some, ans some answers from him as to what your options are. But in the meantime, do some homework, and we're going to meet again in a couple of weeks. And uh, as long as you both are in agreement that you want to sell this, we'll have to figure a way out. Because, you know, there's only one way out of the timeshare, and that's if you, uh, if you get your name off of that contract. So that's what our goal is over the next couple of weeks, is to come up with some answers there, okay? Okay. Yep. We posted up our. We posted our uh, time here on eBay and Craigslist. And right now we have two people on Craigslist that uh, want to buy it, but one of them um's 
just about to lose their job, and the other already has. So I have a feeling in a few days they're gonna just bail on you, huh? Yeah. Well, all right. Well, we're gonna work hard at getting this done, and I'll do research, and you do research, and we'll come up with some answers, okay? Okay. Okay. All right. Well, you guys have a good. Toodles. A couple of weeks here and getting some answers, alright? Alright. I'm out. Good day.